Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I painted um, the circle at Bradenton Beach on Anna Maria Island. I'm looking across from Bridge Street over to the Gulf of Mexico. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos and thank you very much for watching. So here we go. I've done my sketch and transferred it to um, a 9 by 12 canvas panel. This is a roundabout on Bradenton Beach and there's the historic Bridge Street sign. Bridge Street is actually down this way and I've got a trolley bus and behind that is the beach. And so here we go. I've got um, water mixable oils, titanium white. I've got my usual cad yellow light, but I've added Naples yellow because it works great for beaches. I've got raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue. I've forgotten my sap green. I'm going to add that in there and alizarin crimson. Okay, I've added my sap green and I'm all set to go. I've mixed some titanium white with French ultramarine blue and I'm going to put that in um, right across the top here from my sky, ignoring my sketch of trees and I have a, um, my horizon line drawn in. It must be straight, otherwise, um, because water is horizontal, it will look odd if it's not. I'm going to add a little touch of sap green to that, just to make it more greenish color. And I'm putting that in um, as carefully as I can. along the horizon line. Obviously not all of that's going to be seen. I'm adding a little more white. And a touch of yellow. little more blue. And I'm going to use my um, Naples yellow just straight and put in some sand. There. I'm going to add a touch of Taylor blue and Taylor green because I think that will make the water the, a better color, Taylor blue, um, because it'll give it that more aqua color that Florida waters have. Okay, that's beginning to look a little bit better, I think. And I'm going to put a little white at the water's edge. Um, the top of the bus, oh, it's a trolley actually, is a sort of creamy colour which needs more white in it. Halfway through I decided to change the colour of the bus so I'm skipping along this bit. And this building is um, it's a bit more yellow than that. I 
I'm just getting paint on the canvas so it is a bit rough to start off with. And um, it gets better as it goes on. And I straighten the edges up a little bit. I find it quite helpful to put in um, the acrylic pin lines on uh, some of the areas because it sort of um, keeps those edges a little more. And these umbrellas, I think, are blue. I drove past there just the other day. And they're pretty, I'm pretty sure they're blue. And then the street itself, I'm going to use a little um, titanium white with raw umber. Um, to put in this street, which I think is grey. Uh, you know what, I didn't pay close attention to that. It might not be, but hey, in my painting it's going to be grey. Because I can't remember what it's like. It might be brick, but I'm not 100% not sure about that. Use something a little bigger. I tend to use the brushes that I'm holding, whatever they are. I'm putting in the trunks of the palm trees with titanium white, raw umber and a little French ultramarine blue. I'm mixing in some sap green and cat yellow light and I'm putting in the palm fronds. Got too much water on my brush. Mixing a little yellow in and Got a bird there. I might paint the bird out and then uh, put it in afterwards. And I remember this sign as being yellow. Not sure, but hey, that's what it is in my picture. Not sure how many trees there are in that centre of that island. But I know there's like some shrubby plant growing up all around. Okay, so mostly got paint on the canvas. 
I think this was some kind of stony stuff around here. Okay, so I've got paint on the canvas and um, I'm going to take a little break and, and see what I'm going to do next. Those are very dark and I'll go in with some lights. And while I've got some darks on my brush, I'll just put some around the base here. I don't like the fact that um, these shrubs are a bit high and you don't see people in there. So I think I'm going to make them a little bit lower, but first of all, I'm going to um, Add some Taylor blue to my uh, Taylor green to my palette. Didn't I add that? Thought I add that somewhere. I don't know what these plants are. I could pretend that they're hibiscus and put in some hibiscus flowers. I think I might do that. I don't honestly know what they are. But it's always nice to have a flowering um, plant. So we could call it hibiscus, couldn't we? It's a bit too light, I think. I think around this edge, it's, um, I think it's like stony or sandy or something. I really will really have to take a ride out there and take a look at this, but I'm going to imagine it's what I want to see. And I'm going to say that it's stony around that edge. And um, I'm going to put in a couple of like. colors here to represent people. I'm just going to dot in some um, green with this old bristle brush that I have. This sign I know is yellow. I'm pretty sure it's yellow. I'm just going to cover that up for now. A 
and I'm mixing more umber and um, these tires being black I've got raw umber and um, ultramarine I think it is they've got a silver center And um, on the front are these things that people hook their bicycles to. And then there are these um, headlights, I guess. Gosh, my dog is really snoring. What with the dog snoring and the air conditioner going? I apologize for the racket, but <laughs> not much I can do about it, really. It's so warm out there, July. I have got the door open a little bit to allow the cats to come and go. They just go out onto my porch. They don't go any further than that. These are a bit uneven. I'll try and do something better with them. I don't know. Well, I've been looking at some pictures and some of these trolleys are sort of an aqua color on top which I like better because it will allow the sand on the beach to show up. So I'm going to paint it that color on top. I really feel I'm going to have to get in much closer to do this. So, um, I'm just putting this on for now and then I'll get in with a finer brush. And you won't see me do that because, like I say, all you'll see is my nose. And I think the bottom of this place is blue. I think it's actually a mural. Or if it isn't now, it used to be. Putting the paint on fairly thick.
Uh, I remember there being uh, some kind of brick and I think it goes around. It might even go down the road. I don't know. I'm going to put it in like that anyway. And next time I go down that direction, I'll pay closer attention. I think it was some kind of like pinkish. Color anyway. That's a bit brighter than that actually is, but I like it now. And sometimes you just have to go with what you like better. Some darks in there. Okay, to my eye that's looking better. I have to sit down, have a cup of tea and 
check that out and see if I've got the values right in that. I do have to stare at my paintings quite a lot before I decide whether I've got things balanced or not. Well, I worked on the bus a little bit and I was able to get closer in. Um, I think it's looking better. I'll have to uh, stand back and check it out. I think it is. And um, I'm going to work on these umbrellas. I think they need to be fluid. I'm using some Taylor blue. I don't like to get too fussy with things. And um, I'm going to put a blue edge to my trees. It's not a photograph so I can do things like this. I think it looks better with the shadow blue. And I think the bottom half of this sign, I think it's sort of an orangey bluish sign. shadow out here somewhere. Not good with shadows. To remember to put them in. And you know I don't know if these are hibiscus plants but I'm going to turn them into hibiscus plants because I like them and they would make it look so much prettier. So I'm just going to dot some hibiscus flowers. I found some magenta which I mixed with white. I'm going to scrub out this into green again, ish green. Actually, I might make that a bit um, brighter green. Put in some darks. Show up the lights. And I found, like I say, some magenta. I need to mix it with a bit more white. I think that looks better. I think this needs to be a little darker. That's better.
just have to pick away at it until I get it where I want it. I just wipe my brush on the road because it will add some colour to the road. And I'm going to brighten up this beach. This is not a photograph, so um, these are not the true colors, I'm sure. I'm not really aiming for realistic. I'm just aiming for what pleases me, to be honest. paints are a little on the gluey side today. It's probably the heat. And I think that's a little more orange. And I think that's a little more aqua. I think that's looking a little bit better. Um, I really feel that I'd like a brighter sky. Oh, what? I don't know, I think there's like a fence or something. I don't know what there is. I'm just going to put in some like posts suggesting some kind of barrier. And whether it's actually there or not, I don't know.
going to um, Just putting a line of light across here. Down the edge. Doing a little more with these greens. I don't know what that is, it was just paint on my brush, but it did add a bright spot to the corner there, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to put in some darks. Quickly followed by some lights. I'm going to put dark edge under there. It's such a lively area. I want it to look lively. I 
Okay, so I'm going to live with that again and see what happens. I might change my mind about some things. I'm not sure. I just have to live with it. I'm going to have a cup of tea, think about things, and come back. Well, I didn't see much um, to do to it. I did put a couple of extra darks in the trees and a couple of sort of fan brush strokes down here because, you know, there are so many different tropical plants. And I signed it. And um, I think that's actually it. Oh, I also put the historic Bridge Street sign on there. Not very uh, strongly, but it's there. And um, that's it, really. It may not be exactly as it looks. It's my version. And I always try to emphasize that I'm not painting a photograph. I'm painting my impression of what's there. So there we have it, the traffic circle in Bradenton Beach. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's so helpful if you can do that. And thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate that you picked my video out of the thousands that uploaded every day. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.